previously on the America's Heartland Road Trip. So part two of our road trip through the Midwest didn't start exactly how we planned it. What's up guys, it's about quarter to four. Uh, we're gonna head out here from under canvas Mount Rushmore and uh, South Dakota and head towards our next stop, which is the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. We're hoping to get there about sunrise. Um, but after that, we're headed down to Denver today. So let's go for a ride. So our plans to catch a beautiful sunrise in front of uh, the Devil's Tower here in Sundance, Wyoming is a little bit spoiled because we have really rainy, kind of foggy conditions, but there is the old tower, and we're going to go take a look at it anyway. What's up? Good morning, guys. It's day number five of this uh, America's Heartland road trip. Last yesterday when we got into Denver, we were both so beat that we kind of just crashed. Uh, we just went out to dinner and then came back and I think I was asleep before nine o'clock. Um, so I feel rested finally. I feel great. Today we have a long day of driving ahead of us. We're going to Kansas City here from Denver um, where we're staying at the Fontaine Hotel and um, we're having a nice dinner there. Um, at their, their restaurant, so I've to, I forgot the name of it off the top of my head, but you'll be along for the ride, so uh, let's get the day started. What's up guys, we are in Nebraska, a few miles away from Lincoln. Um, we're about to cross the 2,000 mile mark for this, uh, the total distance on this road trip. Uh, we're making some really good time, so it looks like we're gonna get into Kansas City a little bit early, so hopefully we can have some time to explore there too. What's up guys, we are in Lincoln, Nebraska. We decided to stop in Lincoln instead of Omaha just because we were really hungry, it's already 2.30. Um, so we're gonna grab a bite to eat and get back on the road. Crossing the Missouri River. Next stop, Missouri. What's up guys, we made it to Kansas City. We're staying at the beautiful Fontaine Hotel where uh, the Parker is hosting us for dinner tonight. I'm really excited to see the culinary scene here, here in Kansas City because it's supposed to be one of the better ones here in the Midwest. So uh, first we'll give you a little room tour. Another beautiful bathroom. Gotta love the rain showers. We got plenty of space here. Plenty of room for activities. And of course, gotta see what the view's like. Not really anything special, but <laughs> Hey, we'll take it for one night. So dinner at the Parker was fabulous. Tomorrow we're headed to Louisville with a quick stop in St. Louis. Um, we're over 2,000 miles into the road trip. Everything has been great. I think that the Midwest actually has way more to offer than people think. I was kind of going into this road trip thinking like, man, what is there to see in North Dakota or South Dakota? But some of the places that I was not expecting have been actually fantastic. So just goes to show you that you really do need to get out and see every single place that you possibly can and just embrace your wonder list. Good morning, guys. It's day five of our journey. We are going to get on the road towards St. Louis here shortly. But first, we need some coffee. <laughs> So our journey for coffee actually took us into Kansas, which adds another state to our list. We're currently sitting at 2,364 miles in our trip and uh, nine states, I think. So we're making some progress towards the full 50. Hey guys, we 
have just pulled into St. Louis. We got the arch right here on the right. We're gonna check that out and then maybe do a little bit more exploring here in St. Louis before we head back over, continue on towards Louisville. We're in our space capsule, headed to the top of the arch. Okay, so we're at the top of the arch. Right here in this spot is 630 feet above uh, the ground, so we are very high up. Well, we came to St. Louis, we went up the arch, got a great view of the city, got some pictures and some video, so it's time to head on out. We're gonna either find some lunch here or we're going to um, go straight on to Louisville. So, back on the road we go. So we made it to Louisville. Um, we're staying here at the Brown Hotel. Um, so when I was booking this a while back, I accidentally booked our stay last night and the stay for tonight on the same dates so when we got here um, our dates were wrong we were supposed to be here they said we were supposed to be here last night luckily they um, were able to accommodate us and give us a double room and uh, they were very nice about it I totally spaced out but um, we're probably gonna go down and grab some dinner here and check out a little bit more of what Kentucky has to offer tomorrow What's up guys? It is day seven of this adventure through America's Heartland. Uh, currently in Louisville, we stayed at the Brown Hotel last night. Got a really good a good sleep finally. Um, today we're gonna head down to the Jim Beam Distillery to check that out real quick. Um, stop by Churchill Downs, maybe go through the Kentucky Derby Museum real quick. And then up to Chicago for our final night uh, on this journey before uh, Matt takes off from there and I drive up to Milwaukee to get one extra state and uh, fly home. So let's get the day started. What's up guys, today the first stop is the Jim Beam Still House in Claremont, Kentucky. We're gonna do a distillery tour and a little tiny tasting um, before heading out to check out the Kentucky Derby Museum. toward Churchill Downs so we could get a, a just a view of where the Kentucky Derby's run and then also possibly go through the Kentucky Derby Museum that's here. Um, I would love to come back here next May and watch the Derby so maybe we will. <laughs> After being amazed by Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby Museum, we headed on to Chicago. Chicago is now in our rear view, and the last stop on this journey is the Milwaukee Airport, where I catch my flight to uh, Tampa and Maddie goes back to Vermont. So here we go, we're on the road. Is dropped off, so I'm gonna head to the gate and uh, this is gonna end the vlog. Thanks for following along this uh, epic adventure with me, and hope you subscribe and follow us on Instagram. <laughs>